Okay, guys, we are moving on to 2.2. Okay, so 2.2 says the graph below shows the effect of inflation from 2015 going back 50 years. Okay, so inflation, okay, value of a trolley costing 1000 in 2015. So it's basically saying that your 50 years before 2015, the same things that you would have bought here that cost you 1000 would have cost you 14 Rand in 1965. Goodness. Okay. Then it compares the prices in 1970 to 2015, right? Again, right? A lot cheaper because inflation increased the amount over time. Okay. So let's just quickly jump into the questions. It says, explain, okay, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. So it says, explain the term inflation within the given context. Okay, so inflation, let me, oh, we don't need this addendum for this question. Okay, let me just write 2.2.1. So inflation, right, um, it's the increase, increase in price of goods over time. In this case, over time is between 1965 and 2015. Okay, so inflation is what pushes the price up of certain goods. Well, it's one of the contributing factors, but in this case, we're specifically talking about inflation. It increases, increase in the price of goods over time. Okay. So let's now move on to the second question. It says, write down the price of a spur burger in 1970. So a spur burger is 30 cents. You're hectic. Okay. So those are sort of like very entry level questions. Let's now see what's happening here. So it says, calculate by how much the cost in rands of a trolley has increased from 2000 to 2005, okay? So it's calculate in rands, okay? So we're gonna say, well, in 2005, it was 557.00, and in 2000, it was 418. Okay, so the difference, 557 minus 418, oh, my foot is itchy, okay, is 139 rand. Okay, cool. So we are making good progress. Okay. So let's move on to our next question. It says calculate the percentage increase of Rick Coffee from 1970 to 2015. Sure, that was a difficult one to say for me. You may use the following formula. So it says percentage increase. So it's the new amount. Minus the original amount, like we did over here for this 2.2.3. We said two, the newest was the most recent amount, which is 2005, minus 2000. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here, except the new amount is going to be 2015, and the original amount is going to be 1970 over the original amount times by 100. Okay, so the new amount in 2015 was 75 Rand. Minus 0 0.25, goodness gracious, in 1970, over 0 0.25 times by 100. Okay, so we go 75 minus 20, oh, not 25, 0 0.25, over 0 0.25 times by 100. And the answer is as a percentage. So... <laughs> The price of root coffee increased by 29,900% over these 45 years. Can you believe it? That's incredible. Okay. So, let's now look at 2.2.5. So, it says, a cheddar malt steak was sold for 104 rand and 90 cents at a percentage profit of 17.5%. Determine the cost price, okay? So, importantly here, we say cost price, whatever the cost price was, we multiplied that by 1 plus 17.5%, right? To get us to the selling price of 104.90, okay? So, remember here, I keep talking about this, 
quad mass, right? When we're looking at solving these, we need to remember that division is the opposite of multiplication and plus is the opposite of minus, important. So we're gonna divide both these sides by one plus 17.5% because that cancels, leaving the cost price by itself, right? And then we put it this side and we can just calculate the cost price. Okay, because in these equations, what you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side, similar to an O ratio, right? Otherwise you change, you change the actual fundamental question. Okay, so it says here the cost price was 89 Rand and 28 cents, okay? I round it off to two decimal places. Remember, we're talking about a currency, so you can only have two decimal places. Let's do a quick check. Is my cost price less than my um, selling price? Yes, it is. Good, that's what we want, okay? And that is the end of that question, okay?